How's it going everybody? Daner here with North Central Coins and welcome back to another episode of the most rare and valuable coins in Australia. Are you ready to discover one of the most valuable 50 cent coins from down under that could be floating around in your pocket change? Well, join us as we explore the history, rarity, and value of this prized piece of modern Australian currency that could be worth some big money. Before I do get into this though, I would really appreciate if you guys would smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and also ring that bell notification so you can stay up to date with my new content as it is being released. Also, make sure to stay to the end of the video if you would like to find out how much you could get for one of these coins if you ever did find one. And then without further ado, what do you say we get right into it and discuss the Australian 50 cent millennium? Millennium in Q's flag variety. Let's get it, guys. So before we do get into the value for the Australian 50 cent millennium in Q's flag variety, I just want to go over some of the history of the Australian 50 cent coin. The third highest denomination coin of the Australian dollar and the largest in terms of size currently in circulation is the 12 sided 50 cent coin. It is actually identical to the Cook Islands $5 coin in terms of size and shape and both pieces continue to be the only 12 sided coins in the southern hemisphere. The Australian 50 cent coin was first released in 1969 to take the place of the 1966 issued round 50 cent coin. The first 50 cent coins were round and made of 80% silver and 20% copper. However, as the value of a free floating silver price increased, the bullion value of the coin increased to the point where it was worth more than the face value of the coin. As a result, that version was taken out of circulation and replaced with the dodecagonal cupro nickel version of the coin. The Australian 50 cent coin is actually the third largest coin currently in circulation in the world. The only two coins that are larger are the Costa Rican 500 Cologne and the 50 franc coin. With the exception of the years 1967 and 1968, which neither have mint or proof sets nor circulation strikes issued, the year dated 50 cent coins for 1986, 1987, 89, 90, and 92 are exclusively available on only mint and proof sets. Australian 50 cent coins are only considered legal tender for a payment of a debt that does not exceed $5 but they are commonly accepted and used as legal money in everyday transactions. Like on all Australian coins, the current monarch is depicted on the obverse. So currently Elizabeth II is featured on Australian coins, but there should very likely soon be a switch to King Charles. Most common Australian 50 cent circulating coins will have the Australian coat of arms as the design on the reverse, but there have been commemorative issues throughout the years. One of the most notable and also valuable of the commemorative 50 cent Australian coins is a millennium piece from the year 2000. In the fascinating world of coin collecting, remarkable discoveries often unfold and enthusiasts find themselves on a treasure hunt like no other. A gentleman by the name of Drew Jackson, who was a dedicated coin collector with a keen eye for finding error and varieties, embarked on such a journey in the year 2006 and his find would become the stuff of numismatic legends. It was the year 2000 and the world was in the midst of celebrating the turn of the new millennium. It was a time of reflection, anticipation, and for coin collectors, a time of heightened interest in commemorative coins. Among these coins was the Australian 50 cent commemorative millennium coin, a symbol of hope and new beginnings. What makes Drew Jackson's discovery truly exceptional is the nature of the variation that he unearthed. The raised and incused flag variations on the coin's reverse side. Now these aren't just any variations, they're like hidden gems within the realm of coinage. The Royal Australian Mint, who is responsible for producing these remarkable pieces of currency, estimated that there are only approximately 200,000 of these unique variety coins that were struck with a single die intended for circulation. But what exactly sets these coins apart and makes them a collector's dream? Well, on the reverse side of the 2050 cent commemorative millennium coin, one can spot the Australian flag proudly displayed. But what makes this variety special is that the flag is depicted in two contrasting ways, one in which it is raised and another where it is incused. It's as if the coin itself is embodying the duality of history and reflecting Australia's rich heritage and its journey into the new millennium. 
One of the easiest ways to actually differentiate between them is to run your fingers over the surface of the coins. On one version, you will feel the flag's image raised above the coin's surface as if it's waving proudly in the breeze. Yet on the other version, that same flag is actually incused into the coin surface, creating a unique contrast between the two. When Drew Jackson initially made his discovery, it sent ripples through the coin collecting community. Collectors worldwide were captivated by the prospect of owning one of these. Each coin became not just a piece of currency, but a tangible connection to a momentous period in history. Drew Jackson's find served as a testament to the excitement and wonder that coin collectors experienced in their pursuit, and his discovery elevated the status of the 2050 cent commemorative millennium coin, transforming it into a highly sought after treasure. So the next time you come across a coin, whether in your pocket change or within the vast world of numismatic treasures, take a moment to appreciate the stories that it carries and the collectors like Drew Jackson who continue to unveil the hidden gems within the realm of coinage. Now, before we get into the potential value for this coin, I'm going to give you some of the specifications if any of these are off it might indicate that it is a counterfeit you have to be very wary of counterfeits these days there are several sites that sell counterfeit coins whether it be canadian american australian and usually when it comes to airs or varieties like this there will be an abundance of counterfeit coins so you want to do your due diligence and definitely check some of the specifications so the denomination is 50 cents. The year of issue is from the year 2000. The composition of the coin is copper nickel, which is 75% copper, 25% nickel. The coin has a diameter of 31.51 millimeters, a weight of 15.55 grams, and the edge is smooth, as is the standard for most Australian coins. And the die axis is in metal alignment, as is the standard for most Australian, Canadian, and British coins as well. Now, in terms of value, the Coins in Australia website does not actually give you values on the low end. The lowest grade example that they actually give you values for is an MS60. But one important thing to note is that Australian, British, American, and sometimes coins from foreign countries will score much higher in the MS scale than Canadian coins. The Sheldon scale is a 70 point system, so it is very rare for Canadian coins to score above MS67. It's not that it never happens, but if it does happen, then it is usually a modern coin, and if it is an older coin, then it'll be worth some buku money. But Australian, British, and American coins have a much better chance of scoring between an MS67 and an MS70, and if it does score in that high tier of grading, it can definitely add some value to the coin. Now, in terms of value, the first price estimate that they give on coins in Australia is $762 for an MS62 example. Now on the low end, this coin definitely has a premium. I would say it's probably worth around $20 to $30 if it is beat up, worn, and been through the meat grinder. People will still want this thing for their collection, so it's definitely a good one to look for. But on the high end, it can be worth $2,160 for an MS64 example, which as we know right now is currently the highest graded known example. If you were to find one and it scored an MS65, it would probably be worth around $3,000. And as it goes up in the grading tiers, you're gonna see some massive price jumps. We could be talking a $10,000 coin if it scored MS67 or higher. Now, what do you guys think about the Australian 50 cent millennium NQ's flag variety coin? What would you ever do if you found a legitimate example or if you ever have found any of the coins that I discussed in this video, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. I would also really appreciate if you guys would smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and ring that bell notification so you can stay up to date with my new content as it is being released. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for this one, folks. So thank you everybody so, so much for watching and joining me for another coin collecting adventure. But until the next one, everybody, peace out and have a good one, y'all.